Welcome back. So I recently saw this excellent comment on my one of my previous videos and I wanted to reply with an answer but once I was thinking about it I actually felt a quick video might actually answer it a little better. So I'm going to do my best to answer this comment and let me know if you have any questions after the fact. Thanks. First let's answer this part of the question. Did your vehicle come with a tire inflator? Well, let's start by checking under the front and see what we have. So up front in the trunk, in the what would be a front trunk, sometimes there's extra accessories. Uh, but as you can see, this is all engine and easy places to replace the washer fluid and other fluids that generally you don't need to touch. Uh, but no time inflator here, so let's check the back. I'm just going to top this off while I'm here. Well, now let's check out the back. So normally your bolt would come with this little cover to start. I normally don't leave that personally. Easy enough to take out. It also comes with this little net to use with groceries or whatever you need. And then it has a nice little cover with a false floor. So normally I would keep it lower because it's nice having the extra space. And if we take that out, we could see there's actually another subfloor below that. And in there we have space for the included level one and level two combination charger and a tow hook unfortunately no tire inflator so i hope that answers that question but otherwise good amount of space all right well now let's answer your second part of the question how would you describe your winter driving experience. So I would describe the winter driving experience as honestly better than expected, uh, quite cozy and easy. I found the car heats up really fast on its own with the vents. In the car I have the Premier, it also has heated front and back seats, which are amazing, and a heated steering wheel which is simply a game changer when it comes to winter driving, thus making it an extremely cozy car to drive in the winter. I also found that because it's electric and there's no fumes, I was able to turn on the car and heat, let it heat up in the garage before leaving, so it was uh, already at a good temperature before I hit the road. It was perfectly safe, never had a problem. Overall, the actual driving experience Felt pretty solid and safe. Uh, the car has a good low center of gravity with the heavier battery on the bottom. So driving around felt relatively normal compared to everyday driving, but I did find in extreme snowy conditions a little sliding here and there, but because the car has really good traction control and other safety features, I never had any really unsafe experience or bad driving, uh, swerving or anything off the road that would have been unsafe. It was generally solid. Um, I would definitely re recommend it uh, for anyone who needs to drive during the winter. The You may want to get more winter specific tires than the default ones to be extra safe, but even on the the same ones I've been driving since day one, just kind of all seasons. It's done solid. Uh, it's done a great job. I also have in this one the mirror that uh, has a camera in the back, so visibility has always been really good during winter when the back window is getting covered really easily. I've been able to see a lot easier again in this particular trim. Now, the range. The EPA range for this car, 247 miles, solid on its own. During the summer months, 
like now, I'm getting easily around 280 to 290 estimated miles. And I can say from driving, it's around that. Now, in the winter, I've seen it drop generally around 220 to 230 miles, anywhere in that range. And because I drive around 75 miles one way and 75 miles back for work regularly, I never, even at those miles, had any problems getting back home during a cold winter day. And even with the less miles, after two winters with the car, charging regularly to 100% on level 2 charging, I can say it's stayed consistent. It still hits around that 220, 230 miles during the winter, during extremely cold times, and does a great job. Uh, I did find, you know, utilizing different heating techniques of not running the vents as much, utilizing the heated seat and steering wheel to stay warm, uh, definitely helped boost the range even further. And the heating through the vents is done through a resistive heater, not a heat pump. So you definitely see the most drain on the range when utilizing that heavily. So it's good if you can heat up while you're still in the garage and maybe let it charge a little longer if you have the opportunity or the time. And then utilize the heated seats and steering wheel to stay warm during your drive. And depending on how far you have to go, I can't imagine most people have to drive 150 miles for work every day. But if you do, this car can handle it. Uh, you just might want to get a little creative every now and then if it's uh, a really difficult drive or extra cold. Well, thanks again for the excellent comment. If you have any other questions, just leave a comment below. And make sure to you know, like and subscribe. And otherwise, hey, thanks for watching the Thundermites. Later.